Hey there, Wilton Manor enthusiasts. Welcome back to Live in South Florida, your go-to source for real estate insights. Now, if you've ever thought about living or investing in this vibrant, tight-knit community, today's video is just for you. Whether you're a first-time buyer or seasoned seller, the Wilton Manor real estate market has some twists and turns that you need to know about for 2024. Now, Wilton Manor is one of the hottest markets right now, and today we're going to break down everything you need to know for 2024 going into 2025. So you thinking about making a move this year? Let me know. Drop, drop us a little note in the comments down below. Let us know kind of what your thoughts are. So folks, sit back, grab your coffee or your favorite drink. Let's dive into the real estate world of Wilton Manor together. Think of this as kind of our little chat about neighborhood gossip, only this time it's not about the neighbors, it's about the homes. So let's talk a little bit about the current market overview, okay? Now remember in real estate, we talk about location, location, location. We talk about it for a reason. Wilton Manor has the lifestyle and the charm that keeps people coming back, even when prices seem to fluctuate like they are now. So let's kind of start with some of the latest price trends. Now, Wilton Manor's are a little smaller than some of the other areas that, uh, that we're used to talking about. So we're going to give you the uh, insight on both the single family home market and the, the townhome, townhomes and condo market too. So Wilton Manor's median home price to date in 2024 for single family homes is about $750,000. Now that's down about 9% from last year's $825,000. Condos are faring much, much better. They're, they're around $350,000. That's down about 0.7%, a little less than 1% from 2023's $352,000. Now folks, before you panic and think that you think, and you think the market's tanking, Let's kind of put this in perspective. This slight price dip may look like a problem, but for buyers, it's an opportunity. And for sellers, don't worry. Wilton Manors is still one of the most sought after neighborhoods in the area, outperforming nearby neighborhoods like Fort Lauderdale and Oakland Park, where prices shot up 6.8% and Oakland Park, where they saw a 5.5% increase. So Wilton Manor still holds a premium spot. So folks, what does this mean for you? It's a great time to negotiate as a buyer, but still a high demand area for sellers, okay? So, you know, let's talk a little bit, a little bit about some of the sales dynamics. You know, we get into it, numbers are gonna tell us the stories. So right now, homes are selling below the asking price for the single family homes at about 89.9% or 90%. And townhomes and condos are selling at about 93%. Of the, of the actual asking price or list price. So if you're buying, this may give you a little bit of leverage. The number of single family homes for sale has jumped 53% of, of the same time last year with condos and townhomes up 31.7%. So folks, this, what this is telling you is there are more, more properties in the market. There's a, little, there's a little lesson in there for both buyers and for sellers. So despite that, sales remain relatively steady, singling a somewhat balanced market, but it is leaning towards a buyer's market. On the average, single family homes are staying in the market about 75 days compared to about 60 days last year and condos and townhomes are taking a big hit, 54 days, uh, they're almost double from last year when they were 28, 28 days. So patience might pay off if you're waiting for the right deal. Let's talk a little bit about the buyer side of things. So timing in the market. Okay, so all right buyers, let's talk a little timing here. The best month to buy in Wilton Manors is December. Think of it like Black Friday shopping for homes. Prices drop on an average of 5%. However, if you wait till June, you'll be paying a premium. Historically, June prices are about 3% higher. And trust me, nobody wants to pay that summer markup. So right now, the single family home inventory is sitting at about 6.2 months of supply and condos is about four and a half months, which indicates a market that's le really leaning towards the buyer's market. Keep in mind, anything less than three months, three months inventory is considered to be a seller's market. Three to four months is considered to be a balanced market and anything over that kind of leans towards being a buyer's market. So a lot of this is really dependent upon type property type considerations, if you will. So you need to kind of take a look and see what type of property fits your needs, which is one of the reasons why we're talking about both single family homes and the condos and townhouse market. So um, single family homes tend to have a little more room for negotiation with prices, prices as we pointed out, they're often, they can be as much as 10% below the actual, the original asking price. Condos and townhomes offer a little bit, a much lower entry point at about 350,000, but with sales about three, you know, that are about 3.7 or 4% below asking, don't expect too much wiggle room in there. So let's kind of talk about the neighborhood. So, you know, if you're within a half a mile of, of Wilton Drive, okay, you're looking at a 10% premium. You're, you're looking to be in the heart of everything. And it's, and really the reason for that is that's because where all the action is, the restaurants, the shops, the nightlife. It's like living next to your, your, next to your favorite hangout spot. And trust me, everything is happening as much as you want to be involved or as little as you want to be involved. Waterfront properties are still holding strong with only about a 3% price drop. Now, if you've ever dreamed of watching the sunset over the water 
from your own backyard, this may be an opportunity for you to go ahead and do that without having to pay the high ocean oceanfront prices. And here's a little obscure nugget that's coming up. Watch out for areas of upcoming developments. You know how coffee shops pop up and, gen and kind of gentrifying or, or renewing neighborhoods? Actually, so, so do homes. The same thing applies in real estate. If you get in early, your investment could appreciate faster than you expect. So let's talk a little bit about seller strategies and kind of pricing strategies for sellers. Sellers, let's go ahead and get serious here. Pricing your home right can make or break your sale. If you price too high, your home sit like last season's unsold shoes at a clearance rack. To avoid this, aim to price your homes between three to 5% below recent comps, okay? And if you're really unsure, you may want to consider getting a pre-listing appraisal. It'll cost you three to 500 bucks, but it could save you months of waiting and countless price drops. Also, presentation actually matters more than ever now because there is some, some serious competition now. Boost your home's curb appeal with fresh paint. This simple upgrade can, can increase the value by 1.1 to 2%, but what it can also do is it makes it look to, makes the home look fresh and makes a pop, okay? And don't forget professional staging. It can also lead to offers six to 10% higher. If, you've, if you have a professional coming in and kind of laying everything out to make, it, to make your property look optimal, that way the, the buyers, can, buyers can visualize what the property is gonna look like without having the clutter of your stuff coming in. Now, here's where, here's where things get fun because again, Wilton Manors isn't just a, location isn't just a isn't just a, a property a neighborhood it's a lifestyle okay now here's where it gets kind of fun you're not just selling your house folks okay you're selling a lifestyle people aren't just buying four, four walls and a roof okay they're buying the Wilton Manor experience the proximity to the beaches a vibrant nightlife the welcoming community the, that vibe that whole vibe makes a huge difference okay and folks don't forget the power of professional photos and virtual tours okay every one of our listings has a professional photo we actually work with photographers that are professional real estate photographers. They get the light right, they get the angles right, okay? Did you know that putting your home with a, with a high quality professional photos gets 87% more views online? It's like putting on your best outfit for your first date. You wanna make a great first impression. Hello, Sherry. And you wanna you want to fold all this into your marketing tactics. So marketing is your best friend here. As we said, high quality photos and virtual tours increase views up to 87%. Highlight the Wilton Manor lifestyle, folks. Beaches, nightlife, culture. These are all major selling points. And of course, leverage social media. Ads on social media can help you reach 30, up to 30% more potential buyers. That's something to, to talk to your agents about, prospective agents about for you sellers, okay? If, you're, if your agent isn't leveraging social media and if your if your agent isn't going out and doing targeted marketing for social media okay you want to go back and find out why that is so folks you, you got to appeal to to your buyer's lifestyle not just appealing to their wallets okay and for negotiation, folks, again, flexibility is the key here, okay? Offering closing cost credits instead of price reductions can also sweeten the deal for a lot of buyers. So folks, there you have it. Wilton Manor's real estate market for 2024 broken down and simplified. So folks, whether you're buying, selling, remember, it's not just about the numbers. It's about strategy. It's about timing and making the most of the opportunities in front of you. Now, we want to hear from y'all. Please feel free to drop your comments in the boxes below. Let us know what's your biggest concern when it comes to Wilton Manor's real estate. Are you worried about timing in the market or maybe you're trying to find that perfect hidden gem? Let us know, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you found the video helpful, hit that, hit that like button and subscribe and also hit that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. We post weekly updates on all things real estate in South Florida real estate. So stay tuned for more. And until next time, happy house hunting, Wilton Manor.